things I think that's been most frustrating to witness in terms of law enforcement is how anti-law enforcement narratives are consistently spun by these national corporate media outlets. They will swoop into a community, they will create a false narrative, and then they kind of just leave and they never correct the record uh, when what they're saying is obviously false. And we're seeing that right now in real time uh, with uh, uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin, uh, in terms of what happened there. You will look at some of these corporate outlets and they will say that an SUV drove into a parade of Christmas uh, 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 folks. And you're thinking like, really, is that how it works? The SUVs, they just drive by themselves? This just kind of happened? And they say, oh, this was a big accident. Uh, you never actually hear the discussion about who committed this, uh, what was the motivation. Uh, this guy was a career criminal, let out on, didn't really have any bail, basically, should not have even been on the street, uh, had clear anti-white animus, uh, and this was an intentional act. And it seems like, you know, for corporate press, they're more apt to, to characterize a parent who goes to a school board meeting to protest bad policies as a domestic terrorist than somebody who intentionally rams an SUV into a crowd of innocent people. So you have at least six have died. You have many more that have been injured. I know many people are in the hospital. And so uh, let's just be clear. This was not a car just driving in. This was an attack by a felon who did that, who should not have been on the street. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.